Hey there, welcome to DIY Comics FAQ. I'm G.E. Gallus and I'm here to answer all your questions about indie comics, graphic novels, web comics, zines, self-publishing, storytelling, you name it. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Today I am answering a question from Zai at RY Comics on Twitter. They ask, self-care and web comics, how to keep your wrists? That's an excellent question. Just a disclaimer before we start, I am not an expert, I am not a physical therapist, um, so please take everything I say in this video with a grain of salt. Please ask a physical therapist if you can, ask an expert, and just don't hurt yourself, okay? That having been said, the tips I'm going to share in today's episode are from a physical therapist. Um, back in January of this year, it's April now, um, I ended up in the ER with a slip disc which caused a pinched nerve in my upper vertebrae, so my neck and shoulder area. Um, it was really painful and it radiated through my shoulder, causing spasms throughout my arm even to my Thumb. I'm not sure really exactly what caused this. Um, I think it was a number of different things. I had been lifting some heavy boxes over the past few months. That area of my neck and shoulder have always been vulnerable. That's kind of where I always hurt after I've done a long session of drawing. It it might have had to do with my posture while working at a computer. I like to think that my posture is overall pretty good because I used to play cello so I kind of automatically go into cello mode whenever I sit. Um, but even with that I still don't always have good posture. I don't think anyone always has good posture. So this injury has made me rethink my posture and made me more aware of my posture. It's also really strange because at the same time, my mom, who is an artist, she's a painter, an abstract painter, she got tennis elbow at the same time. Uh, so both of us ended up going to the same physical therapist, which is kind of funny, but you know, with my shoulder, I couldn't really drive when I first injured myself, um, so it was convenient that both of us were going to go to physical therapy at the same time. And it's kind of cute because the physical therapists in that office are also mother-daughter. So again, I am not a trained physical therapist, but I'm going to show you a couple exercises and tricks that my physical therapist has taught me. So if you're worried about your neck and shoulders, if you don't have great posture where you're leaning over your desk, um, you might want to try some shoulder rolls, both forward and backward. So here's a little worksheet that my physical therapist gave me. You can see shoulder roll, um, and you want to do these kind of slowly so you don't hurt yourself. Um, so you're just doing shoulder rolls forward like this and shoulder rolls backwards like this. And for my injury, I was doing 10 to 20, both back and forth, so 20 forward and 20 backward. And that's just a really easy way to work on your shoulders and neck. Another good exercise is the shoulder blade pinches. They're really easy. You can do them anytime anywhere. Um, so all you have to do is pinch your shoulder blades together. You're not going to really be able to see me do it on this video, but I'm doing them. So it's just a really easy pinching your shoulders back. And you have to try to remember to have good posture while you're doing these exercises. Another exercise that has really been helping me is this one here. Um, so let me demonstrate it for you. So you put your one hand behind your back. You can't really see it, but that's what I'm doing. And you turn your head to the side and you put your hand on your head like this and it kind of stretches your neck out. So you hold that for about five seconds and then you can do the other side. So you put your other arm behind your back, you turn your head 
and you put your hand on your head like this and it stretches your neck. And that one really helped and continues to help my injury. Because of my injury, my slip disc and pinched nerve, I've been wearing a neck brace. Um, you can order them online and they come in black so you don't have to get one of those really medical looking white ones. So this, I'm not wearing it as much as I did when I first got injured, um, but it actually really helps me when I'm drawing. I'll still wear it when I'm drawing because it gives my head support and takes the strain off of my neck. Um, it's a little silly wearing it, but if you really need that support, uh, look into it. It comes in different sizes measured here. So it's the space between your chin and your neck. Um, so I think this one was two and a half inches, but it comes in all sorts of different sizes. So check it out. A great tip that my physical therapist gave me was not to sit in one place for more than 30 to 45 minutes. So 45 minutes for a healthy uninjured person and 30 minutes for someone with an injury like mine. So that just means, you know, if you're working at a desk or something, you know, do your work for 30 to 45 minutes and then maybe get up and stretch go to the bathroom, get a drink of water, anything, um, just so that you're not sitting for hours and hours on end. Um, this is kind of difficult. I tend to really, really concentrate on whatever I'm doing and I kind of forget what's going on around me. I have to get better at doing this to, to give myself a break whenever I'm drawing or working on something else, um, but it's a good goal to have. To strengthen your fingers and hands, you might want to get your hands, haha, on these little guys. They're called Digiflex. I just ordered them online. They come in all different colors, which is, indicates the strength of them. So they go from, you know, really easy to a lot more resistance. So it's kind of like a trumpet or piano keys. So you just exercise your fingers. This is a more difficult one. Um, so you exercise your fingers by pressing down on the buttons. So this is a really good way to strengthen your hands and fingers. Um, if you don't wanna spend money and you happen to have a piano or something, like a keyboard, that's a good exercise too. When I was still taking cello lessons in high school, my cello teacher had really terrible arthritis and she would exercise her hands by playing piano. Even if you're playing nonsense on the piano, um, just the movement of pressing down the keys with your hands is really helpful. Um, but if you don't have a piano or a keyboard and you wanna invest in some of these, that's a great idea too. They're kind of fun to you know just sit in front of the television and work with them. If you can see that, they're called Digiflex. Another great exercise for your hands and fingers, if you have a rubber band or a hair tie, a hair band like this, so all you do is you put your fingers through it and then you stretch your fingers like this. So, you know, if you just have a rubber band lying around the house, grab it and you can strengthen your fingers like this. So that's really easy to do. Another tip, if you're doing exercises like this, especially for your shoulder and back or for your arm, even your hands, um, you might want to consider putting a heating pad or any kind of heat or a hot shower on the area that's bothering you first. Then you do your exercises and then after your exercises you put ice on. I have an ice pack that I keep in the refrigerator. Of course, a Ziploc bag of ice is great too. Um, so that's kind of the rule of thumb. Heat first, exercise, then ice. Another great exercise is if you put your hand out like this, and then you take your other hand and stretch it like that, and then you do it upside down like this, and take your hand and stretch it like that. Here's my other hand, so I'm gonna take this hand and stretch it like this, 
and then turn it upside down and stretch it like this. Again, I am not an expert, I'm not a physical therapist, but I hope that these easy exercises will help you to not hurt yourself when you're drawing and making comics. I'm sure there are so many more exercises you can do, so do your research, ask a physical therapist if you can, um, and find exercises that are easy for you that you can do all the time. There are so many exercises you can do to strengthen your wrists and your fingers and your hands and your shoulder and your neck. So find the ones that work for you and hopefully you won't injure yourself like I did because it's not fun to end up in the ER. Thankfully I'm feeling a lot better. Um, as you can imagine my physical therapy has been interrupted a bit by what's going on in the world but I do these little exercises every day and my shoulder and neck are feeling way better than they did in January um, so I'm just going to keep working at it and hopefully it'll get better and better as time goes by. So I hope all of these exercises and tips have been helpful to you. If you have a question for me, don't hesitate to ask. I'm thrilled to get your questions so that I can answer them in a future episode of DIY Comics FAQ. Um, so if you have a question, please reply to this video or you can always tweet me at GE Gallus. That's G-E-G-A-L-L-A-S. Want to support this channel? Do you like the videos that I'm doing? You want me to continue posting every Tuesday and Thursday? Please subscribe. It's just one easy click. It's free and you'll get notified every time I post a new episode. That's all for now. See you next time.